and watch them you Ooh, and watch them you remember you was on your tiptoes nigga hey though that's crazy that dance was the fire and watch them you welcome back everyone today we have something truly wild for you brace yourselves for clips of charleston white dropping some controversial bombs that are bound to make you sit up straight in your chair like what? In today's video, we're diving headfirst into the chaos that ensues when Charleston White decides to troll an angry person or when Charleston White decides to troll people online. Trust me, the reactions are priceless and you won't want to miss a second of it. Dealing with figures like Charleston White can be a roller coaster ride. You never know what you're going to get or what to expect, especially when it comes to the reactions they provoke. It's a challenge navigating through an unexpected twist and turns that follow. Picture this. Charleston White, with his signature smirk, deciding to test the waters with angry people online. What follows is a mix of confusion, frustration, and pure comedy as people try to make sense of his antics. No, big bad motherfucker got a fine black girl. Yeah, nigga with short hair, fat ass neck, and fight and run fast. Yeah, no, 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 no. You think the baddest people, the people that can really fight, the people that are really about that life have, uh, short haired black girls that can fight and got a big booty and that can run? Or do you think he's just speaking out his behind with this one because that, that, that's just not factual? Do you, uh, are there some actual bad dudes out there that's got um, obese white baby mamas? Let me know in the comment section below if y'all know anybody that's uh got fat, got a fat white baby mama and they, um, they're about that life. That nigga ain't no bad motherfucker. But our people think these niggas is like superheroes and i'm saying do you think everybody in the black community believes that uh pop artists and rap artists are superheroes what do y'all think about that statement and if he a bad motherfucker little tim would be dead if he a bad motherfucker his brother wouldn't have got killed man listen boy two weeks ago mike tyson raped what did you did Mike Tyson really do that to somebody? I I don't be really keeping up with a lot of these things, bro. Like, I'm invested in hip hop and pop culture, but I don't keep up. And I'm I'm not a super fan like a lot of people, bro. Mike Tyson really do that? I I can imagine that. Mike Tyson bit somebody's ear off, bro. Mike Tyson is crazy. But if he's speaking facts, I don't know, man. I can't support that. Stay up for it. Woman went up there, knock on the door in the middle of the night. Tyson took it. That's what she Whoa. Imagine that. You go up to somebody's house in the middle of the night. You knock. You ask them for some sugar or something. And they drug you, take you in the house, and they take it, bro. How would you feel? Like, how, who does that? What kind of degenerate behavior is that? She said she was a black gal. He ain't never apologized for it. And she was, that's crazy. That's crazy. I, I don't support that, bro. You're going to do your own community like that? Bro, he would have been six feet deep. He would have been behind bars for the rest of his life. That would have been any other race or woman. Guaranteed. Y'all ain't said nothing about them boys. So here it is. We can go on and on. Uh, 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 young Buck been caught with a tranny. Whoa. That's the thing that baffles me about hip hop culture. They are they're so homophobic. But then y'all be on the down low messing with the LGBTQ community. Like, how can you be homophobic, but then you sleeping with someone from the LGBTQ community? I can't believe y'all buck really did that. Tranny come out and give us proof that the boy had been with a tranny. And it was proof that he was with one? That's crazy. That's crazy. Sleeping with a transgender and then being homophobic is crazy. Uh, Dwight Howard, another trans. Yeah, Dwight Howard uh, is uh, one of those uh, individuals that is a uh, suspect. It's crazy. Imagine that. Being six feet tall in the NBA and 
you just can't help yourself but sleep with other men, bro. Like you, and then you try to justify it. And then when people ask you, and they're like, "Just come out and just be honest with us that you're a part of the LGBTQ community." Like we're not gonna judge you. Like it already seems like you are. Like we just want confirmation. You get on the interview and you're like, "I don't want to talk about that, bro." Like we seen a there's a dude accusing you of trying to take his booty cheeks, bro. What you mean you're not going to address it? You're not even going to say that I'm a part of that community. I'm, I'm finally coming out of the call. Bro, it's 2024. It's okay. And it Every rapper who has had something bad to say about Soldier Boy are no longer here. I ain't, I fuck Soldier Boy, nigga. That's crazy. Damn, F. Draco is crazy, bro. What Draco ever do to you, man? That's crazy. But I didn't even know that, bro. Listen to this fact about Soldier Boy. Did y'all know this fact about Soldier Boy? Every rapper who has had something bad to say about Soldier Boy are no longer here. I ain't Did y'all know that fact? I fuck Soldier Boy, nigga. Uh, Crunchy Black said he was a punk. Yeah, Crunchy Black still real. That is facts. Crunchy Black still love. Yeah, yeah, my nigga Crunchy Black talk real bad about that nigga. Let, man, listen. I want to remind Soldier Boy. You ain't got no motherfucking ops, nigga. That's a crazy statement. So since the whole industry been bullying them, who been bullying the industry the last two years? Charles Me? Somebody. I've been bullying everybody. Facts. Hey, yo. <laughs> He's saying he been holding them up by the back of their hoodie, bro. That's crazy. I'm bullying these niggas. Look, hey, look, I got T.I. right now. Uh, uh, nigga, nigga. He said he got T.I. right now. Make a baby with a Chinese motherfucker. He running off and leaving it just like he doing a nigga baby. There ain't no nigga standing around and fuck with no mixed Chinese black and baby. F no comment. No comment. Let's run that one back, though. That's probably the craziest moment of this video. Uh, nigga, nigga. Baby with a Chinese motherfucker, he running off and leaving it just like he doing a nigga baby. There ain't no nigga standing around and fuck with no mixed Chinese black and baby. F that Chinese baby, nigga lead him over there with them Chinese people. Well, I ain't bringing no Chinese baby home. He said he had I can't, bro. Charleston White is something else. Have a grown stripper commit the act of pedophilia and molestation on his son for his birthday. Getting it. That's crazy, though. Imagine that, bro. As a parent, you would allow a grown stripper to have intercourse with your child. What thought goes through the minds of some of us in our community, bro? Like, why would you do that? You got money. You could have did. You could have been teaching them about finances. You could have been teaching them about stocks and bonds. Nah, bro. I'm gonna take my son to the strip club. I'm a millionaire, multi-millionaire. I'm going to take it to a strip club and I'm going to let a stripper pretty much assault him. Because I think it's the rite of passage. What? Didn't he say that? Why are we listening to Boosie Boo? Yeah, that's, that's a crazy. A well-known murderer. He is. And watch him you. Ooh, and watch him you. Remember, you was on your tiptoes, nigga. Hey, though, that's crazy. That dance was the fire. And watch him you. Crack that soldier, boy. Yo! <laughs> hey, hey, we can't talk bad about the you, the Superman. Uh, and watch me, you. Uh, all right, all right, all right, let me stop. Remember, you was a tiptoeing <laughs> nigga ass. Nigga, Jeff, yeah, nigga, you ain't got no motherfucking off, nigga. Calling somebody a tiptoeing. <laughs> it's crazy. Nothing about you with street. Let's, let's go back over your career, nigga. They did. In the end, the trolling incidents took a hilarious showcasing the sheer entertainment value of charleston white and such interactions he has online it's moments like these that remind us why we love diving into the world of internet shenanigans if you've enjoyed this roller coaster ride of emotions make sure to smash that like button subscribe for more, more gut busting content and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. Your feedback keeps us going. See me tuber out. Peace.